So I got something pretty important to talk about in this video because things are changing in the world and actually things are changing more rapidly than they have in the past 40, 50 years. If you look at what's going on with artificial intelligence and robotics and the economy and things like that, it is looking like the way jobs are today and what we've known as the regular job or the nine to five quote unquote is going to be coming to I wouldn't say a screeching halt but it's going to be coming to a slow stop as humans will become less and less necessary because of the way technology is moving it's going to be pretty abrupt you know, 10 years from now, it's going to look a lot different. But I do think that one thing that robotics and artificial intelligence can't duplicate or will be one of the last things to duplicate would be the human personality. And we humans have a human connection with other human beings because of their unique personalities. And so artificial intelligence can't tap into that yet. It might be able to sometime. I think it's kind of far off. I think self-driving cars would probably be in the lineup a lot sooner than, say, um, an, a, a robotic friend, right? Oh, this is my friend Charlie, the robot. He does all my chores around the house and does the dishes, makes the bed, and he even goes shopping for me. He does everything. He'll have intelligent conversations with me. So it's getting pretty interesting on how the world's moving. I don't think, I mean, a lot of people, there's some people who say, oh, it's a bad thing. It's terrible. And then there's other people who say, it's a great thing. Um, like a lot of the futurists are like, oh, this is exciting change that's happening. But I don't think it's good or bad. I'm pretty even keel when it comes to this stuff. I think there's both good and bad and everything, really. But I think it's really important to position yourself and prepare yourself for big changes. That are going to happen, right? So, like I said, the human personality and real human connection is very hard to replace. It's not something you can just get a new robot. So that's why I think it's important to practice your social skills and your speaking ability and having a good attitude. It's good to practice communicating with other people, sharing ideas, connecting. Because if you look at society right now, human beings don't really connect as much as they should. Honestly speaking, we're mostly connecting through screens. And is that really human connection in the flesh? Is, is it as good as human connection in the flesh? Uh, I would say not. I wouldn't say it is, but it's the next best thing. You know, if you can record a video and send a video to somebody, it's better than reading a text message. If you can record an audio for somebody, it's better than reading a text message from them. So video is the prime mover right now. Video is the best thing. So if you can get used to making really good videos, whether it be talking head videos or whether it be narration videos, and you're good at putting images together and formulating things that way, or if you're a good writer and you rather write scripts, I think that's good as well. But I think creating things is very important in this day and age. Because creation is not yet replaced 
by AI. Think about it. Content creation by AI right now, I think it's pretty garbage. Like, there's tons of AI content out there on YouTube. And me personally, honestly, I can't, I have a hard time watching it. Like, if I'm looking for, all right, what is ashwagandha good for? And then I listen to an AI video. I'm like, okay, let me listen to it in the background, whatever, whatever. But then I'm just like, I get tired of hearing that AI voice. It sounds annoying to me. So I look for a human being that's going to sit there in front of the camera, show me the bottle of ashwagandha, and explain the benefits like a real human being would. You know, it's just, that's how I am. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that rather see a human being review a product. That's how I am. I want to see your honest human reaction. I want to see micro expressions when you're talking. So, I don't know. I think there's a huge opportunity for people who can create content and who can create content authentically and people who can share what they know and articulate it in, in such a way that's compelling and inspiring, it's a blessing. And I think you're positioning yourself in a huge way for the new economy. And I think also that a lot of people that are already successful at creating content, I think they're in a really good position as compared to someone who works at Walmart or uh, a DoorDash driver or something. You see, I drive DoorDash and I am pursuing content creation on the side. But, you know, these jobs that can be replaced, it's not a good position to be in. And so I think there's a huge opportunity for those who know how to speak or know how to write, or they're good at um, presenting ideas or information in such a way that a lot of people can gravitate to it and understand it without having to hear that annoying AI voice. I mean, AI is okay when, you know, you're trying to curate a bunch of information and, you know, have everything organized and meticulous and Alexa, what's uh, who's the person who swam the English Channel? Who's the first person who 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 uh, ran the four minute mile? Things like that. Like, you know, it's good for that, but it's like there's only so much that it can do as far as creating authenticity. And I think that uh, when you play around with some of the AI that they have go going on right now, you can you can easily see that. Um, it's interesting, though. I mean. Would you get a robot that'll just do all your chores for you? You could just send it to the store. Go pick up um, grass-fed steaks and uh, wild rice with some blueberries. And, oh yeah, just make me this recipe here. And then it just does it for you while you're working. I think that's pretty cool, man. I think, you know, it may be a little scary, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So I don't think AI is something to be totally afraid of. Like, oh, it's going to have a mind of its own and take over the human race like Terminator 2. I mean, maybe, but I mean, I don't think we're there in our lifetime, to be honest with you. That's going to be a long way down the road if that ever happens. But it's an interesting topic and... There's a lot of things going on right now in that field. And I remember first hearing about it years ago, probably more than 10 years ago, more than a decade ago, people were saying AI is coming. Oh, once AI comes, oh, you better be, you better be careful. <laughs> and, you know, you started to think about it back then, like, hmm, I wonder what will happen. Will we just be floating around on hoverboards or something? But I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people try to purport it to be and i think there's a lot of opportunity um not just in oh you can be the one managing the ai I, I don't i don't think that is all there is i think we need to be savvy going into this new era you know just like the people who 
were when the agricultural or the, the, the industrial revolution came along, a lot of people weren't ready for it, but there were those who, you know, kind of saw into the future a little bit and positioned themselves in the right way. That's all I'm saying. Like, there's a new revolution about to happen. And I think if you're smart enough to know how to position yourself in the right way, you can benefit from it. It's interesting to talk to some of the people who are really, really into the AI and a lot of this new technology that's coming out. And it's evolving so fast that it's like, it's hard to keep up with. A lot of the new things that are happening constantly, there's new, new things happening all the time. So I do think it's good to stay on top of what's happening in the world, but also improving your skills and gaining as many skills as you can so you can take advantage of the new opportunities that are about to present themselves. But that's it. Just a thought about artificial intelligence and some of the ways that I think that we can position ourselves well in the coming years of evolution here. So don't put your made robot on layaway yet but improve yourself so that you can position correctly. On to the next level. We will see you guys on the next one. We're out of here.